Beijing conclusion. Bar. We taking that. Operation Purge, log one. It was mere turns ago that we were passing Origin by sending a scout team consisting of three troopers to the surface. It took a long time replying, but we didn't think much of it. A few turns later, they sent a report they had crashed and were dying, but could confirm through standard global scanning that there was no Tazen on Origin. I, of course, withheld this report from the fleet. I'm not as knowledgeable as Kiron when it comes to Imperial Research's new inventions, but I know the global scanning project never took off. It remained but a scare to keep the Tazen in line. This report was clearly sent by them, and I had found their last stronghold in the universe, Origin of all places. I had the power in my hands, the power to annihilate them once and for all, the power to bring peace back to our shameful race, the power to kill a million people in mere cycles. Mere cycles. My fleet has destroyed worlds before, but then it was by the order of high command. This time it was all on my shoulders. Alright. Operation Persian Log 2. I had not much time to ponder this alone as I also walked into the command bridge. I told her about my dilemma as I knew that I could trust her. Her reaction was not surprising. This is what the people have been waiting for, she reminded me. Clearly, making countless billions of Kamado happy would be worth more than sparing a million Tazen. I am not much to object to that. It is plain logic. We are a race of conquest, and as such, we must remain unified. We are like an enormous organism spreading throughout the galaxy, ever improving itself. Like the Urquan. In dangerous defects like the Tazen will be purged so as not to let them spread and corrupt the rest of the whole. Destroying them now is my responsibility as a commando, but bringing peace at the cost of so many lives, I was reluctant and I also understood that. She didn't like it, no, but I believe she understood. I was ready to ignore the Tazen uh, and move on, but all of a sudden we received a distress call from Origin coded in a strange, amateurish fashion. It was actually sent by a human using a Tazen communicator. Without even thinking, I made the broadcast public. How could I possibly explain this transmission when we got back to the Dead Zakorum? Wargarble, I thought. Within moments, we indeed heard the roaring and cheering of our troops all the way to the command bridge. I remember Iosa calmly looking at me. Now the burden is not on your shoulders, she said, her self-confidence drinking, strengthening me. There could have been no other outcome. This is for the greater goal. Only one uneasy thought lingers in my mind. Whoever sent that distress call took my burden. Yay, writers! Yay! Cinematic battle on a... Hmm. Probably doesn't mean anything. So all of this is just sitting here. It's probably not a big deal. Probably. Alright. I'm not getting through that. I'm not allowed. It is forbidden. Maybe if I had uh, done cool things in my life, I would be allowed through there. But I haven't. But at least I broke those. Yeah, I'm not allowed into the secret room. So be it. E.G., this must be where the general was. Keep in mind that I can't reach you out there, so you're on your own. Whatever you do, keep calm and don't get in a fight this time. Pretty sure I'm gonna get into a fight. Especially with all that ordinance. <laughs> this is a Kamado general, not a Taze and a Leap, but most of all, are you sure that you know exactly what's going on? Yeah, I'm sure I'm ready. Uh, well, okay. Hey, there's no reason for me to stay here, especially if things go wrong. Yeah, not that say, Well, please it, sis. Don't worry, make it just fine. You, if anyone should know how horrible this war is, you won't have any problems convincing the general. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Operation Purge Log 3. I'm going to make one thing clear. I have never and will never let personal emotions interfere with my logbook. Will you let him drink? The news just reached me that Annihilator Iosa is dead. That is a matter I will not discuss here. Currently, we have just finished routing the Tazen colony, but the only way to truly please the public is Alpha Striking Origin. Taking the final step, blowing Tazen kind out of history, out of space and time. The humans are not worth saving either, they have no future left. If my feelings for this planet are to be shaped by the public and the Imperial Army, then who am I to object? This is it, and I may finally be ready to end this. Abandon all hope from Asha. 
You have moved, Anomaly, far too fast. Your course has been erratic but steady. I believe you are fully aware of the General's outpost located right above your head. This will be if you're reading this, which means I will be dead. I had improved, I had advanced, I gave everything I had to make sure you never found this logbook, but here you are. This is your end, Anomaly. I heard the log recorded from my iOS as ex ex exoskeleton before I exploded. I know your motives and your shallow schemes, but General Tor will not be impressed. Like I knew you would never listen to me after going for the bounty on your head and setting the trap with your partner, so Tor will never listen to the killer of his beloved. You may have taken comfort in revenge, but like me, the General is not a man of change. This is the final mission, the end of Operation Purge, and the end of Origin. You cannot... I'm glad Asha was crazy enough to conceive of this log and leave it anyway, on the off chance he failed. Yep, logic you fair. Okay. That's nice. Glad we had that moment together. I don't suppose that magically opened the door over here to the left, did it? No, I probably would have needed the ribbons for that. Or something. I don't know. Uh, it matters not. Not here. Okay. Let's listen to more dialogue I don't care about. Auto control. Hi. Mm, who's there? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, hello, General. My name's EG, and I'd like to have a word with you. <laughs> I hate my fucking life. Why am I here? Can you understand me? What exactly is this? A human walking right into my post, asking to speak with me in my own language? Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me! I have guards for this, you know. Wait, do you have to be... Yeah, I know, I'm the human anomaly, but there's something very important that... What the? You're the scum who killed Iosa! Yeah. Yep. Yep. Which means that Iosa really sucked, huh? I mean, it only took me two... You know, third try. I think there's a third try. So, I think that's more retries than any of the other bosses have taken, so, if you can claim that, you'll probably take more retries. But, uh, really? Whose fault is it? Wait, General, please wait and let me explain. How dare you come here? How dare you insult a Kamado General? And I haven't insulted anyone. All the people I've tried to talk to have tried to kill me. None of you will ever listen to what I have to say. I'm here to fight you. All I want is a peaceful discussion. Oh, of what, may I ask? Uh, what do you think? We live here on this planet. We haven't hurt anyone. All of a sudden, the Tazen came and wasted most of our people. And now you think you can get away without us dragging us too, I mean. Ah, of course we can get away with it. Perhaps you're not aware that the only way to make sure the Tazen are extinct is to... No, that's not right. You already know that the Tazen are as good as gone. Well, that's correct, but, but what? What do you have against us? If you think the humans don't even matter, it's just stupid. Same with the Tazen, you killed them because they're not the same as you. <laughs> you have no idea what you're talking about, human. What do you hope to accomplish by complaining to me about the errors of my people? The Tazen were a lesser form of Kamado, a society of outcasts and leeches. The Kamado's hatred for them grew over so many star turns, and once the war started, there was no stopping it. The majority always thought of the Tazen as inferior, and no matter what you say, you cannot stop such a massive force of strife once it began to spread. Our leaders of high command were powerless, the Imperial Army took the law into its own hands. So what you're saying is, is that you didn't care that the Kamado would rather wipe the Tazen out than live in peace with them. Ah, you seem to think it, that it's so easy, human. You think that the handful of leaders of high command who did seek a rational solution to the conflict could stop the ignorance of the masses when the war broke out, anyone opposing the Imperial Army would be killed? You honestly think we're so heartless as to wipe out a planet if it wasn't even necessary? Can't blame you without first blaming the public and the Imperial Army. I I like all these, you know, like, political and cultural lectures about the whole situation. EG's just trying to save what's left of humanity and planet Earth, right? <sighs> but I thought the leaders of a people were responsible for them. You keep talking like it's not your fault when you're the one with the power. Power? The people outnumber their leaders. Do you expect us to just wish their intelligence away? And EG, you know... I, it's no telling how intelligent or gifted she might have been in her previous life, but General Tor probably has a lot of intelligence and experience. 
you know, I don't know. But to just wish they're intolerant for we tried the end of conflict. Damn it, don't come here and tell me that we didn't try. I commanded the right thing when going with the flow of the Imperial Army, as we'd be stuck in eternal war. You just started my post. Your post? The roof? Sure, whatever. Expect to know the answer to all of our problems when all that you say has already been said. I'm sick of this conflict. I'm sick of people like you. If there's one good thing about the extinction of the Tazen, it's that we'll find an end to the most pointless war I've ever seen. But the Tazen are already dead. It may be good enough for me, but it's not enough for the people. They've waited ages for this to happen. We have to finish what they started. They couldn't care less about this planet either, no matter what I or anyone else in High Command says. It's the only way. The Alpha Strike is just about to begin powering up, and once I've returned to lower orbit, one word from me will put an end to your suffering. No, I don't care what you say, I'll save the world if it so takes my life. Save the world, is it? Fine. Then I will grant your death wish. Prove to me that I am wrong. Prove to me just how strongly you believe in your words. In the meantime, enjoy the view. There's no telling what might have been different had I chosen not to kill people. Yes, I'm sure there is telling. I'll find out in the second run-through, but for now, here we are. Good view. <laughs> the hell happened there? a lot? Hmm. Am I gonna lag on this battle too? Because I'm in Windows mode? I hear that this reflector might be of use and... Oh my good lord. It's gonna be one of these moments, huh? Okay. Well, I guess I didn't need to have the reflector out in that situation. And I guess this is going to be a slow-mo battle. Probably need to put this in full screen mode. <laughs> Either that or we'll have an incredibly epic fight just like this. I like it. Yeah, slow-mo combat! Maybe I will get this boss on the first try. I don't know what the hell that is. I'm scared. Maybe I shouldn't have been scared. Your crazy graphical effects can't stop me, General Tor! He's like, shit! Grimace in window mode! And he's recording! Even with his incredible i7 processor and 16 gigabytes of RAM, there's absolutely nothing I can... Oh. Oh. That was good. I like that. That was pretty clever. Well, we'll, 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 we'll do the... Use your words, Griffin. Get some slow mo epic jumps, so that's a thing. Ah, ammunition probably matters here. So we'll go for firing one at a time. I think this fight's gonna be a little bit easier than what it would normally be, though, because of the slow mo. We'll see what happens. This battle's also gonna take longer than it probably should. <laughs> Perhaps I'll fix this in the second one, right? Hmm. All right. How about that? Burr. Well, I got knocked down to the ground, so that's a thing. Oh my. Holy shit! <laughs> I 
I am simply enjoying this way too much to actually see him going full screen would fix the problem. Either that or I'd have to change her quarters. Or maybe disabling graphics. <sighs> Reload graphics, maybe? No, I haven't alt tabbed the game. I didn't restart the game, though. That was a problem. I had meant to do that. I did bring it up as an option, hoping maybe that would solve the problem. But now I have an old tab since this game has problems with old tabbing. There's no window. Maybe this is just how EG sees the world now. She's so consumed in like her anger. It's like Neo from the Matrix, right? Exactly like Neo from the Matrix. I like it. Do your worst, Tar. What? <laughs> all right, all right, you got me. <laughs> I concede. Well, but you got me in that. It's Look, I'm trying to get some of your health pickups, but I'm not allowed to do that. It takes my character forever to stand up. Actually, this is seriously looking like. If I use this power at my disposal, slow-mo, well, we'll be able to lengthen the amount of time we have together, and our time together won't be so tedious, because all we have to do the boss fight once. Until the second fight. Maybe. Uh-oh. Yeah, you look good. Get up, EG! Get him! Yep, I was hoping he'd take off. I needed that health. I was prepared for that that time. Good. You know, I've already committed to this fight now. I'd hate to stop recording and then do it again, because that would ruin the whole blind experience of this moment that we're having together. Okay. Uh, well, Devastator time. Probably not gonna do. Seems a little bit wasteful. Damn it! Was not standing in the right spot. Could not adjust in time. Finally, getting some shots fired off. Oh, he's charging his gun. And because my character has no strength, you know, I thought this whole thing was supposed to be permanent, but I guess if you reset your nano field, you lose the permanency of not falling. At least this part's quick, right? Ugh. Gotta have some quick reaction time for that. There we go. Get rid of the shockwave. It's like jumping over it. There I go, falling into the air. Maybe the whole assimilate thing I might have not needed. But it did allow me to carry more ammo into this. As slow as that's going. Whee! Knockdown's gonna get my ass hit. Like so. Alright, we got two health bars off. We're doing it, everyone. Doing it live! Fuck your idol shit! Alright, maybe we should use that as like a last before weapon. Okay. Let's do this. Let's go! Get up. Look. Yeah, there you go. Go ahead and take off. You leave health. Whee! Moments of quick. Maybe my computer's just overwhelmed with Twink, right? Oh, I forgot to, uh, jump up into the air. Whee! That, that, that's secretly it. My computer can't handle this. That's actually what's happening. Uh-oh. Oh! oh. 
damn, thought I could be cute. Nope, no cuteness here. It's all of twos! Now, of course, my concern is, you know, the speed picks up at any point when I'm just not prepared for that. Kind of pressure! Which will happen as soon as he flies away. Then... Whee! At least that happens quick, right? So we can get back to the good stuff. He's got, like, his floating orbs up there to protect him, and... Got some bullshit that goes in the sky. Uh oh. <laughs> yep. I didn't press C. I don't know if C would have saved me from the knockdown there. Uh oh. All right. That that actually worked out. Thank you, slow mo. It's like I'm using like an emulator or something. I'm using this to defeat some sort of grand boss. I like it. I guess we could talk about all the epicness of the moment normally if this wasn't happening. So then we can talk about what kind of quality game this is. You know, it is freeware. It was released some years ago. So that's definitely a thing. Black Stodies uh, would surely enjoy playing this title if he hasn't already. Doing that move again? Sure. Sure. Yep, totally useless. I believe it. Ah. Yep. Saw that happening in slow motion as well. <laughs> See if I can uh, take down the general with this weapon. Alright, we have some rocket craziness. That happened. I'm at full health though. It's definitely useful. Alright, where do we go from here? I kind of need some ammo, dude. I don't suppose you would just give me ammo, would you? It's probably not your style. I would pro- Maybe I could use the- What if I use the resonance reflector to try to hit that shot back? Son of a bitch. I just thought of that. I don't know whether it would work. Oh my goodness. What are you doing to me? Train, make him stop. Make him stop. Fuck, I moved way too soon. Okay, yeah. That's probably it. Whenever he charges up the shot, I use the resonance reflector on him. That's probably a lot of, uh... A lot of ammo, I could have saved while still dealing damage to him. We'll have to try that. You stop knocking me down. I have a hard enough time standing up the way it is. Alright. I'm thinking I can get off one more shot before he starts charging. Maybe another one. But I want to test out this theory. Uh-oh. Should have switched to it sooner! I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna have a charge in time. Nope. No oh well. That's an idea. Because it's taking me so long to do this shit, I'm having time to think of all these ideas while I'm having the fight. EG, everyone. I gotta record this in full screen. I just like being able to see the recorder. Yep, useless you. That's me. Ah, shit. You'd think after... After four and a half years of doing this hobby, I would run into situations, especially with my computer, where these moments wouldn't happen. This is, this is a consequence of playing games blind. Maybe I could have, like, removed the blind for the situation and just said, You know what, no, we're not having this moment. 
Yeah, well. Hindsight. Blah, 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 blah. I gotta try out this idea. There we go. Alright, I can do this. Yeah! Nice! Got it now, I understand. Yeah, I still have tons of ammo. Just what, you know, stuff. Alright, cool. This doesn't lag things so much. I like it. You know, you know that whole thought process behind me thinking that uh, General Iosa was actually going to give me the most problems out of any boss? Well, didn't realize I actually had a more powerful weapon than save load on my side. Whee! Alright, he's down to his final health bar. Oh, you beautiful resonance reflector, you. You're adorable. Actually, really the only time I've gotten, like, genuine use out of here, too. It's beautiful. I don't know whether I want to take him down the rest of the way with my normal weaponry or not. It's probably something poetic in having his own weapon kill himself. But... But I don't get the kill, according to what I'm told. It's all about the stats, baby. It's all about the stats. Well, I'm just gonna keep shooting him. Yes, Train. I'm just gonna keep shooting him, maybe. And if he dies whenever I reflect the projectile, then it happens. Fucking train. I gotta get on this action. Whee! Yeah, he would go down. For sure. Nope. In that case, I gotta switch back to the Devastator. I gotta do this my way. Ignore your silly projectile. I'm gonna get hit by this. That fucking hurt, too. Train, you're ruining the moment here. Oh boy. Whee! Yeah, the slow mo's not ruining the moment, right? <laughs> the train. There we go! Can I have my frames back now? Please? You have like another form? No, you're good. Got it. The fight only took a while. It's fine. It didn't actually take that long in game time. First try. 420 no scope. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> and not at all how it was intended, I'm sure. I like to think it makes up for all that annoying assassin shit, though. After everything I had to go through, these boss fights, I'm sure that would be fairly challenging with the with the reflexes required and everything, and apparently all the graphical implements here. It shouldn't even be the windowed mode, though. I, I mean, the, the very startup screen, whenever I can choose full screen or windowed mode, says that if I choose windowed mode, some of the things will be disabled, right? Right? Lag. <laughs> Host. We'll eventually get a cutscene, I'm sure. All the particles just gotta clear off, you know? I'll have to look into this for the second run through. Mercy. Please. Hmm. Well, 
Sector X complete and I had some fails and I took a lot of damage, but I got some kills and there's no point in saving, I reckon. Mercy? You surrender? I won't die by the hands of a human. You should have thought of that before you tried to fight me. I could be Iosa, and now I can I can beat you too. Now will you listen to me, Kamado Scum? You, you think violence will solve everything? You think finding the one responsible and killing him would shut up? You, you haven't listened to a word I've said at all. I just came here to stop the Alpha Strike. Look, the Tazen are dead. All you gotta do is sh to show the report on their extinction to the your arm. All you gotta do is to show the report on their extinction to the your army. Whatever. <laughs> and they'll believe you, right? Hmm, it's not that simple. The report is already official, but there's still a chance of survivors. The public won't screw them. Anyone can understand that the Tazen never had a chance against the kind of force you brought down here. Don't you think it's meaningless to Alpha Strike this place? If we don't, what would the people think? They and the Tazen are the reason for the war in the first place. I'll tell you what the humans would think. We'd be grateful. Human, you are special. Your nanotechnology must have been given to you by the Tazen, and we've no reason to believe the rest of your kind don't have the same potential. That's ridiculous. Some people did this to me by reverse engineering the Tazen stuff. They had nothing to do with it. And why the hell would they help us after Alpha striking us? Hmm, that's well, just a theory I'd heard. I don't personally believe it, but High Command likely does. Any reason to strike this planet is good enough. They're afraid... They're that afraid of the Imperial Army. If I defy them now, I can't tell what will happen to Origin. The fleet that was sent here is but a fraction of the army. I may be in charge of this particular attack force, but I'm only one of many generals in the big picture. But then, at least you're the leader of this fleet. They won't listen to you. I mean, how can you be their leader if they don't listen to you? General Tor. Respond, General Tor. Hmm. Kiron, what is it? The strike is almost ready. Why haven't you returned yet? I've been caught up in some personal business on ground level. What's the strike time? Half a cycle. You better get up here quick. Hold on. It's now a quarter cycle, so abort whatever you're doing and head up here right now. Kiron, wait. I have a message for the fleet. What is it? We're heading home. The Kamado's business with Origin is done. Come again, General? You heard me, loud and clear. Abort the Alpha Strike. General, are you out of your mind? What about the Tazen? What about the Anomaly? We, sit, we spent so many troops. Don't make me repeat myself, Kiron. The Tazen are gone, and the Kamado will never again touch this planet. We don't need another civilization on our conscience. We're returning home, and the mission will be reported as a success. Because that's what it is. Is that perfectly clear? Yes, General. Understood. There's always been reason behind your decisions, and I'm sure you're right this time, too. We'll never bother with Origin again. Good. As for the Anomaly, consider her dead. And, Kiron, I may not return. What do you mean, General? I have made a personal decision. I entrust the fleet to you, and that you will report a full success. I see. I'll make sure to follow your orders down to the last word, General. It's been an honor, honor to know you. Thank you. Take care. End of transmission. Human, don't thank me yet. You must have seen the acid rain outside. The landscape blasted asunder. This is an alpha-struck planet, and rebuilding it may be impossible. I spared you for two reasons. If Origin survives, consider it a gift for being the first to ever stand up to the army. But if the planet dies, let it be a testament to your foolishness, that some things are not meant to be overcome. Uh, you, you think we'll all die? You spared us just to make an example? No. To give you a chance. But that one chance is all you get. Remember that. Now tell me, how many of your kind survived here? How much of the natural life remains? Uh, not a whole lot, I think. Then I assume that you don't have a home to return to? No. I see. You are a rare individual. Like Iosa, I can feel your inner workings just listening to your words, and I can't stand it. As you have probably guessed, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of living with the knowledge of having killed more people than I can count and I take full responsibility for what's happened to Origin. Iosa is dead, and the Tazen are gone. I don't believe in your future, so I don't want to live to see Origin die. And if you can't return home, then neither shall I.
General? Hello? Let's stop that track from recording, because that sounds like a content ID match, match waiting to happen. I'll listen to it myself, though. I'll just kind of add a recording. So, that was EG. It's run one of the two that I will be doing on this channel, courtesy of Drago, who requested uh, a free run and then a pacifist run. Uh, this, uh, this... Last two videos didn't quite turn out how I expected that we had some slowdown. <laughs> ah. Can play all the latest games, max graphics, no problem. But the power of EG. Electronics. It's fine. Freeware game. Several years ago released. A project of love and ambition? No, oh, no. We did have Hero 3D. Lots of uh, secrets and hidden items. The posters. The ribbons. Uh, definitely a potential there for... Uh, we even had some slowdown on the credit screen. Yeah. Ending theme. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a cover. <laughs> So, use your words, Grimoth. Uh, I, I enjoyed myself. I... <laughs> that was interesting. I can definitely see, uh, getting back to my earlier point, I can definitely see where the, the choices that you make would have an impact on the consequences. Like, E.G. being alone there, for instance, and having to do the rest of the section just by herself, without even talking to Dan. Uh, and those uh, frequent references in the further logbooks and in the dialogue of the characters of uh, E.G.'s bloodthirsty nature, which, you know, is merely a reflection of what's been bestowed upon her. But the Tazen apparently have been fleeing from the Kamado for all their time. They've tried, they've tried to find places of their own to live, and they've they fragged countless planets, and the Kamado have come in, come in and clean up uh, those places. So it's just a cycle of death, and EG's the last person standing because the player has save load hacks, and in my case, slow down hacks. Don't know whether I'll, uh, up the difficulty, uh, the next playthrough. I'll probably do it in full screen mode, though. only so that uh, I can see whether we can avoid that slowdown issue, and if not, I don't know. I don't know whether that's a situation that would have happened, whether I was recording or not. Since the recorder wouldn't have overwhelmed my system that much, I'd have to think it's a windowed mode thing. I'll take a look at it. Uh, it'd be a pain in the ass getting back to that boss fight, though. Uh, I'd... So I couldn't exactly just test it out. Because I wasn't able to form like a save right before the boss fight. Uh, we definitely, I definitely did not find many secrets, but you know, it's first playthrough. I, I went looking at occasion for some things. Um, found, uh, I guess, eight ribbons. There's two sectors in which I didn't find ribbons. Save Dan. Looks like humanity turned out all right. It's gonna take a while for the planet to regrow. Uh, killed a lot of people along the way. All as as it should be. 
There's a number of unlockables for the game. We'll uh, have to take a look through the main fin menu before I bring this all to an end. But I guess I'll bring uh, game sound back now. The end. Yeah. Wonder how long the planet took to restore itself. Do you eventually cycle to the menu? Or do I have to press a button? Maybe you don't cycle at all. Okay. That works. Uh, it's apparently a one-woman army. Uh, a cyber geek. The cracks minus fails. Uh, apparently that goes up to Nanomaster. I was overconfident. I, uh... Apparently the most kills it keeps track of is 300, and I got 353. 300, 251, 1, and 0. Okay, damage. Let's press escape to change the main difficulty normal. Okay. Time taken. Alright, I unlock some stuff. That's cool. Let's take a look. Extras. Poster viewer, I obviously only got two posters. The posters are strewn around the complex in the most well-hidden areas. Some of them can only be found on normal difficulty. Okay. But none of them require you to play on a higher difficulty. The Nanofield Reboot, which I now know of, and Rocket Jump. I... Uh, uh, maybe there is a way you can shoot rockets down. I haven't found that yet. That'll be for the second playthrough, I guess. If you find the posters, as well as most other advanced techniques you can discover in the enemy lock, but the logbook. Certain unlockables will also help you in your search, but not in reaching the posters themselves. In other words, no unlockables will alter the gameplay itself. Learn to use the enemies and architecture to your advantage, and be creative. Most of all, make sure you understand the function of each and every nano weapon in your arsenal. Good luck. Apparently, I can play uh, single sectors, play Hero 3D. Uh, if I beat the game hard. Beat the game on extreme, get an alternate outfit. Ooh. Weapon information, get Nanomaster rank. Nope, I was just a cyber geek. Enemy information, get an immortal rank. I took quite a bit of damage. Sector maps. Hey! How about that? Maps! Fancy that! Well, I can give you an idea of what it might be that you're looking for. Sure. Sector 10 is pretty fucking huge. Alright. Alright, alright, we'll have to keep that in mind. I'm noticing these symbols here, too. I think those are the locations of the posters I found. Because so obviously I found the poster in Sector 1, it was all the way back there to the left at the start. And then that was overlooking that window outside, and it's telling me where all the other posters are. Like, and I have something telling me where the fucking ribbons are? <laughs> Sudden Death Sector, Turbo Mode, and Scrambler. Find the Scrambler. And then I don't feel like playing without the sound test. Uh... Records. My best times, normal, 5 hours, 11 minutes and 5 seconds, Remar Games, best times. Well, there you go. Truck through that. In game rankings information. Discovered all four hidden skills, apparently. Found eight out of the ten ribbons. And I couldn't find the one on Sector 10 because I didn't find the one on Sector 9 because I got myself. I took a wrong turn at Albuquerque, I'm wrecking. Reckoning. Got three extras and features and found two posters. <sighs> huh. Wants us to be a pacifist, which I'm assuming means zero kills. Either the bosses don't count, or if you choose a pacifist route, you might be able to circumvent some of that stuff. I don't know, Iosa seems pr uh, pretty committed. Maybe General Tor, maybe you can, uh, maybe have a talk. Might also try to get the Nano Master. Uh, maybe not a mortal damage, though. Maybe not that. 
takes care of this run through. Uh, my second playthrough of EG might well be in a second playlist. Uh, regardless, it will be on my channel, so stay tuned for that if you're interested. And if not, well, we had fun together, right? I hope so if you stuck along to this far. Uh, <laughs> chill toward boss. Uh, anyways, what is I enjoyed myself playing EG. Uh, and uh, I like the game enough to do a second run through, which is good, because that's what Drago wanted. And I'll be able to do that. When exactly that'll be, I'm not sure. I have uh, a vacation coming up. This will probably end up being uploaded and uh, demonstrated while I'm on vacation. I don't know. And I probably want to take a break from the game anyway so I can forget everything. We'll see. Uh, that's a situation for another time. We got on with it. We'll get on with it some more. Now get on with the rest of your life. Toodaloo.